What did the toaster say to the slice of bread? I want you inside me. Today, I'm going to recap a 2016 action thriller film called Criminal. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The film opens with Jericho Stewart standing on a beach. His voiceover states that they thought they knew what they were getting when they got inside his head, but they were wrong. He promises that anyone who hurts him will get hurt worse. A van pulls up behind Jericho and a man steps out. Jericho turns to face him. We jump to a while back in London, where CIA agent Bill Pope stops in a shop to pick up a duffel bag full of money. Bill takes time to call his wife, Jill, back home. The two have a daughter, Emma. Bill is being observed by his superior Quaker Wells and fellow agents Marta Lynch, Esteban Ruiza, and Pete Greensleeves. Bill is knowingly pursued by anarchist Xavier Heindahl. His right-hand woman, Elsa Mueller, follows Bill as he hops into a cab. Elsa and other villains catch the cab and shoot the driver before capturing Bill. Bill is taken to an abandoned building and is tortured by Heimdall with electrical cables to give up information on Janstrup, aka the Dutchman, a hacker that has created a wormhole that would allow Heimdall to bypass computer codes and infiltrate central governments. Bill tells Heimdall f**k you, which Heimdall respects, but also gets Bill a cable to his mouth, and he is electrocuted to death. After Heimdall and Elsa leave, other CIA agents find Bill's body and inform Wells that he is dead. The CIA gets in touch with Dr. Franks, who has been working on a memory program that places the memories of the deceased in the head of a living specimen. The plan is to put Bill's memories in someone's head to locate Stroop as he was trying to sell his program to the CIA. They decide on using Jericho, who is known as a remorseless killer, with no emotional development that resulted from a childhood incident in which Jericho states that his father threw him out of a moving car and damaged his frontal lobe. We see an interview between Heimdall and Piers Morgan in which Morgan asks Heimdall his intentions. Heimdall states that he thinks the world would be better off without governments, and thus he plans to take them all down. Jericho is taken out of prison for the procedure to begin. Bill's memories go into his head, but the procedure nearly kills Jericho. Later, Wells and the other agents view a video message from Stroop, who says he will give the CIA his program, in exchange for protection and money, as he had originally been working with Heinball. But once Stroop changed his mind, Heinball got furious and is after him now. Stroop is then seen calling the Pope home to ask for Bill, but Jill informs Stroop that her husband is dead. After the memory transplant succeeds, Jericho is being transferred by two agents, but he uses a makeshift hook to cut one of the agents and lead to a crash that results in him escaping. He has the car's blow up to make it look like he died. Jericho makes it into town and steals some food and beats up some men to take their van. He then heads over to the Pope house to find the bag of money. He ties Jill up in her bed. All the while, he begins to see some of Bill's memories most of them involving his time with Jill, but also a vision of the money bag being hidden behind a shelf of George Orwell books. Jericho goes back to the room and unties Jill. He then gets in touch with Ruiza through the home phone, claiming Emma may have hit a button again. Jericho then flees the house. We see another video of Stroop stating his plans to sell his program to the Russians now, out of fear that the CIA has betrayed him, and the CIA has roughly nine hours to respond to Stroop's deadline. Back on the streets, Jericho continues seeing Bill's memories, and he is starting to gain Bill's personality and skills while jumping between that and his natural self. Jericho tries to get himself a drink and orders it in French, mistaking it for Spanish, and one man corrects him before calling him a motherfucker, leading to Jericho breaking the man's nose. He then heads to the library and logs into the computer with Bill's codes, which the CIA discovers. Jericho finds Franks to help him get medication for his head, hurting as a result of Bill's memories overwhelming him. It means that Jericho is now able to develop emotions. Their whole encounter is monitored by the CIA. As he leaves the pharmacy, Jericho is taken by several agents. Elsa, who was watching, follows. After a tense encounter at the headquarters between Jericho and the other agents, Jericho is being escorted by Wells to another location. Heimdall creates a distraction by making it look like Stroop was spotted at an airport. This leads to Elsa and Heimdall's other goons to find the agents and start shooting at them, resulting in the deaths of some agents including Lynch. Jericho escapes the shootout by driving off a bridge. Jericho returns to the Pope house. Jill points a gun at him this time, but Jericho is less hostile this time. 
He tells her a memory only she and Bill would know. To prove he has Bill's memories. It's about how their first car smelled like fish and chips, and the exhaust blew out a week later. Joe later sees Jericho outside with Emma, as they bury one of her toys. Despite being worried at first, Joe realizes that Jericho would not hurt her or Emma. She lets him stay the night. The next morning, Jericho discovers that the money bag is hidden behind a bookshelf in the library at the university where Joe works. He heads there to retrieve it, leaving Elsa to break into the Pope house and abduct Jill and Emma, while Heimdall gets Jericho. Wells and his team learn of this, and they head out after them, while the Russians have their own team out looking for Stroop. Both the CIA and the Russian team circle the university, as Heimdall's goons take Jericho away. He then remembers that Stroop is hiding in Jill's office. Elsa forces Jericho to guide her to the office. They pass by the lab, which lets Jericho make a bomb to get away from Elsa. He rushes to Jill's office to find Stroop and talk to him, but Elsa finds them. She shoots Stroop in the head and nearly takes the drive with his program, until Jericho emerges and beats her to death with a lamp. Jericho races to the airfield, where Heimdall is planning to escape with Jill and Emma, despite Wells telling Jericho it's too risky and that lives are at stake. Jericho makes it there and reluctantly hands the drive to Heimdall, so he can let Emma go. Heimdall shoots Jericho and makes his escape on his plane, right before Wells and his men arrive. As Wells yells at Jericho for what he's done, Jericho reveals that he had Stroop reprogrammed the wormhole, so that anything launched from that program would hit wherever the launch was made. Therefore, the missile that Heimdall launched hit the airfield, ends up flying back toward his plane, blowing him and the wormhole up. A while later, we see Jericho at the beach. He was standing in the beginning. He is met by Jill and Emma, along with Wells and Franks and some other agents. Jill and Emma know that Bill lives on in Jericho's head. Wells then tells Franks that he is going to offer Jericho a job. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy hit the like button, and if you disliked it hit the dislike button twice just to be sure. You should watch the full movie. Thank you very much for watching.